Today in this video, I will share eight genius Mac tips plus one bonus that will make your Mac experience smarter. You're reading an article, watching a video, you got an idea, you want to make a note. Click on Apple icon at the left side top corner, get to system settings, on left, navigate to desktop and dock. On right, is scroll it till the bottom. Look for this option, hot corners. You have four corners on your Mac. If I personally talk about myself, I have got quick note assigned to the right side bottom corner. Now let's suppose you are in a meeting. Maybe you're reading an article. You have something pretty crucial you want to make a note of and you don't want to forget it later. All you do is just simply pick it up, copy it, just flick the cursor in the right side bottom corner. You see that tiny edge, click on it, that fetches the notes app in front of you. All you have to do is simply go ahead and make a note, maybe paste what you copied or go ahead and write something. This is how you never let your ideas go in vain. They're always recorded just on one click. You can use Finder on your Mac just like the way you operate a web browser. You cannot browse the internet, but you can open multiple tabs for multiple directories. Click on Finder. Now press Command and T together. This is going to add another tab at the very top in the Finder. If I do Command T one more time, there's going to be another tab. This is how you can add more tabs in the same Finder window. Now this is so convenient for me if I want to access multiple directories. Let's say I want to access movies here and I want to uh, access downloads over here. Now I have applications here, downloads here and movies here. If I want to detach these tabs in a separate window, all I have to do is simply uh, press and hold the movies and uh, drop it out here. Now, if I have to copy paste and move the data between the folders, different, different directories, all I have to do is pick the file and drag it right there. Now, if you want to merge them all together in just one finder window, click on windows in the menu bar and look for merge all windows. Click on it and this is it. All the tabs merge in one single finder window. If you've been using focus modes on your Mac, then let me tell you something. You don't have to mute everything while you're working on it. Click on Apple icon left side top corner, get to system settings. On left, let's call it to focus. Now here, you can click on add focus and customize a focus mode for yourself. Let's take example work. If you want to allow people specifically anybody to send you notifications while you are in a focus mode you can always add the exception right from here also you can allow specific apps to send you notifications right from here and add on top of it you can also add filters and allow any app specifically like mail safari to work and send you notifications while you're in this focus mode You have multiple Apple products like iPhone, iPad, MacBook. They have Wi-Fi on, Bluetooth on. They are on the same network and logged in with the same Apple ID. Universal Clipboard allows you to copy any sort of text or image from one device and paste it on the other device within just seconds, whether from Mac to iPhone or iPhone to iPad or iPad to MacBook. You need some hardware information for some support or resale and you don't know how to find it then here's a quick trick press and hold the option button on your keyboard and then click on apple icon at the left side top corner and system information click on that while holding the option button in this window you can quickly access everything about the mac os version the build number the chip and memory or even if you're looking for some information about a battery the life and the cycle count and everything you can get in this window right away Your Mac has built-in background sounds that can help you focus or calm down. Again, let's get to system settings. On left, click on accessibility and then look for audio on right. This is where you can enable the background sound. Also, you can choose the different, different type of sound options you have available here. 
If you wanna go more advanced, you can also enable the timer right from here. To conveniently access this, you can also add the background sounds in your control center. You can click on it, edit control center, and then look for hearing accessibility. And here you go, background sounds, drag them to your control center. I'm sure you already know how to use AirDrop on Apple products. But in this video, I want to show you if you want to share multiple files between your devices, you can do that pretty conveniently on MacBooks. Click on Finder in the dock. In the side menu, at the bottom, you will notice AirDrop. This is your dedicated AirDrop window where you see your profile and also your other devices if they are available to AirDrop. Now, Command T to add another tab in this window and access the directory where you have the files that you wish to share. I take example of downloads. Let's drag it aside. Now select multiple files in this directory with the help of shift and arrow key. Further, you can drag them all on the device you wish to share with. And that's it. You can set and customize tabs in Safari and sync them with the help of iCloud across all your devices. Click on Apple icon at the left side top corner, get to system settings. On left, look for iCloud. In the iCloud window, click on see all. In this window, you need to make sure Safari, this is enabled. Now open Safari. By the way, before I move further, I want to tell you, you can do a lot of customizations in Safari, and that's pretty cool. If you want me to make a dedicated video about uh, Safari settings and customizations, just type me in the comment. Click on sidebar icon at the left side top corner. And here we have got currently four tabs open in Safari. Now, let's suppose I want two of these tabs to be the part of my business. You can either move cursor on the tabs over here or you can also do it from the sidebar. So make a right click and then look for this option, move to tab group. Now in the sub menu, you can click on new tab group. You can go in and maybe create something personal. And now this has been already added to personal. If I wish to add Facebook to personal, I will make a right click on it and move to personal right there. It's a crazy editors homepage. Let's make a right click and add it to CES. And next time, all you have to do is after you open Safari, you need to simply access the sidebar. And here, all you have to do is click on one of these uh, tab categories. Let's take example personal. If I click on it, I have both the tabs loaded automatically in seconds right there without me typing these websites one by one. You have your Mac screen packed with the windows. Spread your thumb and three fingers apart on the trackpad and that's how you will see your desktop. Simply go ahead and open up the file you wish to from your desktop and this is it. How many of these tricks you already knew and you've been using on your Mac every day? If there was something that really surprised you, don't forget to share that in the comment section. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe Crazy Editors for future tech tips, tricks and solutions. You should also watch our this video, 20 Mac Essential Keyboard Shortcuts that everyone should know. Anyways, thank you for watching Crazy Editors. Until next time, you take care of yourself and I will see you in the next one.